Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Hi! I was about to actually say, in case there are extra comments heard, Pink Fox is actually in the room with me. Um, she's actually eating pizza right now, so... <laughs> anyway, um, welcome to another video. Today I'm actually going to be talking about something that actually comes up in the later uh, video, um, the, the gaming uh, video you guys will see in a couple hours. So... One topic that I know I've talked about a couple of times on this channel, and I do like bringing it back every now and then just because I know of how serious and how widespread it's really becoming, is that of anxiety and depression. Which I both have. We, yeah, we both have that. Pink Fox and I both do. Um, now, there are specific degrees to this, but that's kind of aside from what I'm going to talk about today. If you guys are curious about why I'm talking about this, definitely check out the later uh, ep the episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, a visual novel that's also a psychological horror game, but this has like side stories, and that's what I was reading um, in the later video. Uh, but I digress. The reason I'm bringing up this particular topic today is an event that happened during that. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but long story short, one of the characters does kind of show um, themselves going through an extremely deep depression um, that is actually shown through writing, through poetry, or yeah, at least throughout the whole an attempt. Story in general. Yeah, but that hasn't been showcased in the Let's Play yet. Mm. Anyway... I think the reason that I bring this up is just, it's not particularly the depression itself, but more the, how, how I've observed personally, and Pink Fox again, if you're wanting to bring something up, even though you're not on camera, you're more than welcome to say something, um, what I've observed in it is that, like, kind of visual symptoms, or symptoms based off of a couple of senses. Specifically, sight and sound. Something that I've noticed, and I actually talked about this in the later video as well, is that one good example is pitch. The pitch of somebody's voice. Now, this is not always the case. Um, I was pointed out at a point that it did happen with me, and it has happened to a couple of individuals who I've known in the past. It's also happened to me with one of my previous relationships. She's no, She knows exactly what I'm about to say, too. <laughs> um, but the pitch of the voice, when it gets more high, the higher it goes, the more you can tell something's up. And with one of the characters that are brought up later on, Sayori, who is the one who suffers through this depression, has a tendency to showcase it scatteredly through the story. So I kind of give her a really high-pitched voice. Higher than you would expect in a normal individual, um, but, you know, this character is not normal. She suffers through this, and the symptoms of depression can kind of be showcased more frequently than it's liked. The sad like, part is... Like, for example, is, sleeping all the time. That actually is true. That is very true. The sad part is nobody really pays heed to this, and this is kind of where the core of this video I wanted to talk about kind of hits. Find yourself a person like that because he actually knows when I'm depressed and well, I'm grateful for him. The reason for that, though, is that I've suffered through that as well. Now, I'm not diagnosed with it or anything, but I have gotten depressed to really heavy extents before. If you guys have been on the channel long enough, you know, some of you might have already seen, like, the outcome of this because during the, I think it was, like, the three-year mark of this channel three or four year mark of this channel, I actually did kind of show some of the symptoms on camera while trying to be consistent uh, because I was still at that mindset where I hated just not doing videos. But one way or the other, one thing that I can say for sure is that it is kind of upsetting when somebody who had, goes through a lot of depression isn't willing to do something like this turn to someone and actually find some kind of comfort. Like, for example, 
spoiler alert for those who haven't read the visual novel Doki Doki Literature Club, plus, specifically plus, because it's not in the original story, it's in one of the side stories, um, or if you're watching this series that I showcase later on, on this specific day, a um, little bit of a spoiler ahead of time, there are two characters that are involved in the side story, Monica and Sayori. Monica notices these kind of symptoms and starts comforting Sayori. Now, in the main story, you would figure this wouldn't be the case if it was canon to the main story, but it actually, according to, from the sources that I've seen, it's not. If it was, though, I actually, I can still see it faintly making sense, knowing kind of a lot of the lore of the story. However, this kind of aspect here, this is actually something that directly happens in that story visually. In fact, if you see the thumbnail later on, it kind of gives it away anyway. Oh, I was just snapping on you. I know, <laughs> but Sayori leans her head directly into Monica for comfort. I do too. You do that with me, and I mean, it's just because... Because you're my human. That's not the reason I was going to bring because up. Because you always make me feel better. That. And you're always there for me when I need you the most. Pretty much that. It's people who go through this kind of depressive mo these depressive Don't moments leave them by on their own they have they should have someone in there to make sure that they can get through it i have yeah. had too many friends that have died from depression well, because of bullying or stuff like that who have like just suffered too much and the fact of the matter is not a lot of people notice and yeah, sure, it's gotten better over time, but at the same time, when things get better, they also get they also get equivalently, hell worse. They get equivalently worse. Like a good example of this: those who suffer through depression, it's usually because of a bully of some sort. Whether it's a minor amount or a large amount, really doesn't matter, because it'll impact in the same way in the long haul. It Cyber also bully, could example. happen from a traumatic event. Well, that's why I said it doesn't matter on the amount, because traumatic usually comes from the large amount, whereas small amounts, it just it's over time. For good me, e it was a traumatic event at yeah. a young age. But for the small amounts, what I'm referring to are things like cyberbullying. It's become so much more frequently recently, and it's sad. That's a topic for a vi different video that I'm probably going to talk about at some point, but... Any type of bullying is not okay because you never yeah. know what a person is going through on the outside of everything in between. And for people nowadays, it's impacted those who suffer through depression big time, and it's honestly sad to see. One of my friends who I was in drama club, she committed suicide her junior year. Because she just had too much depression. She was in on the forensics team with me, in drama club with me. We basically did a lot of stuff together. We also had classes together. And I felt really bad for her. For those who are lucky enough to find someone like that, who is who are willing to reach their hand out and go, you have someone, please reach out to me when you need to, are very lucky. But not everybody gets that. I was very lucky to find this one, and, and honestly, I was very lucky to have my RTC teacher at that time. I was about to and say now, this one. I was about to say actually add on that before this one, I was very lucky to have the parents I do who I tried to hide this kind of stuff, but they are smart enough to be able to like reach out and go something's wrong. And What's going on? Including his coworkers, I find it kind of interesting how actually, they know you really well. That is a, a, there's different reasoning behind that. I will bite your finger. So, the reasoning behind that is just more, it's easier to tell. So, for some people who have depression, like some characters in the later video, like in the later video, or the series that the later video is part of, depression isn't so well hidden through one aspect extremely positive people. That's when it's easier to tell. For me, for example, like what she was saying, I go to work extremely optimistic almost every single day. The only time where this is not the case is when I get downright depressed about something. This happened about two years ago by now, actually, I think. Maybe less. But, no, it was less. It was about a year ago. A little less than a year. Little less than a year. It was early January of 2021 for those who are watching this in the distant future, but for those who aren't, it would be this year 
the, the year of this recording. Anyway, I digress. I went in because I was super depressed about past events that had happened. And it was, it did not go unnoticed. But the main reason for this is because I have coworkers who actually care and look out, really keep an eye on that, and they also know me as a friend very well as well. And the fact that I wasn't acting as optimistic as I was normally, they immediately knew something was wrong and they reached out. I was very lucky to have that kind of response. But that not every, as I said earlier, not everyone in the world gets that. And I know this for a fact because I've, honestly, the story that I read through, and I know I keep bringing this up, but it is the thing that kind of emphasized me talking about this in the first place. As I was reading through it, my heart melted at the idea of seeing someone just break down like the character Sayori did. Now, this story, because of these aspects, it is not meant for kids. I'm not a child, so that's why I did it. <laughs> and this channel is not meant for kids to watch in the first place because it has too many aspects that just don't match up to where a child would understand. Which is also why I, I'm more comfortable doing it. Anyway, characters like that, people who go like that, if they don't have someone to reach out... They will fall to Pete. They will fall to bits. I have seen it time and time again, and as she said before, so has Pink Fox. So has Amber. For those of you out there, and I guess the main point of this video is just, and I'll cut to it, uh, because I pretty much said everything on my mind that I can about the topic. This is a very serious topic. So for those, those of you out there who are given the opportunity, given the chance to be a good Samaritan, to just reach out if you see somebody going through a rough time, do it. Because everyone out there in the world needs needs that kind of comfort. Everyone out there needs what the later story actually refers to as hug energy. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it does make sense. That kind of, any kind of comfort can go a very long way. And I know, for some people, some people might be looking at me and going, well, that's a no-brainer. But when you look at how reality is, it apparently is not. Because 50% of the world thinks, eh, it's nothing, it's not my business, I'll just pass by, everything will be fine. But reality of it is that just... Even if it's somebody, a simple bystander, a stranger bystander who doesn't even know the person reaches out and says, Hey, are you okay? Is there anything I can do? Just that simple thing on its own could at least ease the mind at least a little bit. Even if it's not too much, at least it's a helping by a little. One way or the other, I am going to leave this video here. For those of you who stuck around for the 13 and a half minutes of this video, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have anything to add to what was said in this video, why not put it in the comments below? Or if you like this video on its own, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. On a daily basis, we do talk about live stuff, uh, or we do live activities, one, one thing or the other. Um, want to check out any of that kind of stuff out that's kind of like this video? Click link on the side of my head where you'll find, ugh, I don't even know how many at this point. Um, if that's not quite what you're looking for and you're looking for something else, click the link on the other side of my head where YouTube will give you an idea of something you might enjoy. Not quite floating your boat either on that one. Check out the channel itself and you might be able to find something there. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. I'm going to go hang out with Pink Fox for a little bit, and we're probably going to have a friend come over later on anyway. Aaron specifically, if you want to know. Uh, thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and we hope to see you in another. See you guys later.